Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to try a little bit, something a little bit out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I'm going to do a deep pour with this uh, Let's Resin Deep Pour. And I'm going to be pouring this lamp. So, never done anything like this before, and I'm a little excited. So, I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of this um, Unicone um, Crushed Crystal into the one part of it and the shade. But the bottom, the base part of it, I'm going to cut off a little bit of these um, little white flower kind of things and I'm going to be putting them around in that um, the bottom part. There's some yellow and white and I think the uh, yellow and white will be perfect. in there because when I get the um, when I get the lampshade I'm going to be putting some trim around on it. Let me get that light up there. I'm going to be putting this uh, this trim around the uh, end of the thing to make it give it a little bit of bling and I got this idea from Sherry Moulton off her channel she made one a long time ago and I have been wanting to do it ever since I saw her do that and I thought you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna I'm going to um, I'm going to just step off my comfort zone and do it. I'm not sure that I'm liking these things in here. I'm not sure I'm liking that. I'm going to have to think about it. But we're going to we'll have to see. might do uh, something a little different. I'm not liking these. I thought I would, but I'm not. So we're going to take these out. And I think that I'm going to um, use some of these uh, petals off of this rose. is what I want. So I'm going to be pouring it there and turning it over. So let's turn these up.
you stick to me. Stop it. There we go. Static on there. Okay, maybe that'll work. We shall see. I think it's going to be a, a pain, is what I think. We'll see what goes on. All right. So let me go and mix some resin up, and I will be back. Okay, so I have sixteen parts of A, sixteen ounces of A, and eight ounces of B. So we're going to pour, I want to get some alcohol. And pour, I want to spray some. some alcohol in there.
that. Looks like we had just enough resin to pour every bit of it. And it takes a couple of days for this deep pour to set, so it'll be a couple of days that I come back. So when it's cured, I'll come back. Okay. It's been three days. Oh, my garage. That's one thing I don't appreciate with uh, deep pour resin. It takes so long to cure. All right, let's get these unmolded and see what we're working with. Look at the shimmer that um, unicone. I don't think I've ever seen it sink like that. That's pretty cool, though. All right, that'll be the base. And I had to put this in here because this thing is so wobbly. Oh, it's so wobbly when you're standing it up like that. See how wobbly it is? So I was afraid it was going to fall over. So I put it in that thing and put some paper towels around it. Alright, I'm going to have to pull this to me to get this off, y'all. Hold on. We're going to put a little bit of alcohol because I'm not going to be fighting this thing all day. It's so long. Alright, let me see if I can get it. Go down a little bit. I see it moving down. There we go. But I'm going to have to bring it to me to get it to come out. So give me a minute and bear with me. Oh. And this thing is still not. Uh, solid yet, I want to say. I'll be back. Let me get this out. Okay. I got it out. But it's still not uh, totally set up, I don't think. Alright, let's see how fiddly this is going to be. Because it's these pieces are big. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever make another one of these. Unless I get an order for one, maybe. This is 
fiddling. Whew. This is just a huge mold. Very, very huge. See if I can get it out. This one's a little fiddly to get out. It's so huge. Oh, my garage. And I got rain coming. <sighs> I don't know if we're ever going to get this rain to stop here. Thank the Lord for the provisions to water the ground, but... It is uh, definitely needs to stop and give us a break. All right, this thing is <laughs> is giving me a fit, y'all. Come on, come on. I, think I need three. Is huge. Turn this mold. <laughs> and it's not easy when you don't have good strength in your hands. I have arthritis in my hands and it's not, I don't have a lot of real good strength. So this is not a, a mold that's uh, conducive to that, having that issue. But Check it out. You can see all the sparkly in there from the unicone uh, crush thing. But see, this is going to go in here. And then the shade goes on it here. Hold on. There it goes. goes in there. And then that goes in there. But yeah, it's not, uh, it's leaning. Can you see it leaning? <laughs> It's not fully uh, hardened yet, this piece. All right, we're gonna be uh, waiting a little bit on that. So while we're waiting, but it's starting to rain and I'm fixing to go to church. But what I'm gonna do is when I come back, we're gonna be blinging this up with this, uh, sorry for the, plastic bring this out. we're going to be blinging this up with uh, this uh, I don't know what you call it I don't know if I can get it out be hard today. Give me a hard time. Why y'all gotta be? Why y'all gotta be so mad? Oh, and I know you hear that thunder. All right. Now that I've made a thorough mess of that. All right. Get that out of the way. Okay. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be. I'm gonna be putting this on the end of this.
to bling up this, to be blinging up the lampshade. <laughs> Sherry Moulton did this and it was so cute. But see how it's gonna hang off there and give it a, <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna be uh, putting that on there. But I just had time to mold, unmold it this morning and uh, get that before church. But when I come back, we will put this on. We'll put on this uh, tassel onto the thing. But I'm I'm happy with the way it came out. But man, this is a fiddly mold. But I really like the base with all that uh, that cut up mylar in there. Very pretty, very pretty. I'm gonna have to do a little filing down on that. All right, so when I come back from church, I will put the bling on it. So we'll see you then. Okay, so I'm thinking about this, uh, I know I need to go to church, but uh, anyway, but I was thinking about this real quick, and I think that uh, what I need to do is to tack it. I'm going to put that there. Put it there on the edge. And I'm going to uh, tack it down with some UV resin, like spot welding, <laughs> sort of. Put that there. See if I can spot tack it with this UV resin. So it, it's a uh, just to get it to spot tack, and then I can go back around it with uh, UV resin and um, well, and attach it maybe. decided if I'm going to do that with uh, E6000 or just maybe just go back and put some UV resin around it, the top of it, around the top of that. But this will definitely help hold it in place while you're doing whatever you want to do with it. That's the whole key because you only got one set of hands and I can't hold it. And get everything else out. Always the case, we just don't have enough hands sometimes. But if you spot tack it like this, 
then you have the ability to to do what you need to do. And I don't know how long it's going to take to get that stem of it to um, stabilize. Man, still a little bendy. Just a little bit. So I need to cut it right there. I think I got it tacked enough. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's going to be so cute. It's going to sit up on that like this. I know you can't see it like that, but anyway, it's going to be sitting like that. Alright. Oh, that thing is so bendy. Alright. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. I just couldn't stand it. I had to do something to it before I went to church. So, anyway, we got it. We got it part of that. So, I'll be back. Okay. So, we've got the bling on the shade. Woohoo! So pretty. Alright. Miss, I was looking at uh, Sherry's. I think she got the, she made the different lamp. Alright. Then, I'm going to put this on here. Put it in the little base. Alright. I'm going to have to um, switch to my uh, different camera to be able to show you this and get you down to the level. So I'll be right back. Okay, here it is in all its glory. I think it turned out cute. Oh, it's a little bling bling. And this base is really cute. It was a, a peril <laughs> to get through, but wow. And the uh, light, you can flash it, you can strobe it, and then you can let it stay solid. So there you go. There's my lamp. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you liked it, I would appreciate it if you haven't subscribed, that you would subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. Help me grow it. I'm looking, uh, hoping to get 200 pretty soon so that we can do a giveaway. But uh, I really appreciate you and all the people that have been sticking with me from the beginning. I appreciate y'all very, very, very much. And the new ones, I appreciate y'all for coming in and and helping me grow my channel and to uh, just 
being a community of artisans. I love it. So, um, yep, there it is. I really like it. I think it turned out really cute. This thing is still a little bendy, so I'm going to probably uh, give it a rest and let it... Um, let it uh, cure another day out of the mold and uh, let it get more solid. Really, really like that base, the way this base come out. All right. So uh, anyway, I thank you for hanging out. I thank you for sticking with me and come on back the next time. Uh, let's see what we get to next time because <laughs> I don't even know. So uh I'll see you then. Stay safe and God bless.